All right, Paula, and concerns over COVID are affecting the justice system in Detroit as jury trials at one busy courthouse are put on hold. The saying goes, justice delayed is justice denied. But during a pandemic, things get put on hold for the safety of all parties involved. And that is the case, Kim, right now at Detroit's Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. A COVID outbreak among people who work there has put jury trials on hold. For more on what that means and how long it might last, let's bring in defender Sean Lay with more. Sean. Attorneys also telling us it all started here at 36th District Court and attorneys we're talking to are absolutely furious, wanting to know how a Wayne County assistant prosecutor went through COVID screening here, but was still COVID positive. They say not enough is being done to alert people about possible exposure. You mentioned Frank Murphy Hall of Justice all of a sudden and suddenly jury trials there have stopped. The local four defenders obtaining this internal email from 36th District Court Chief Judge William McConico alerting court employees. I have been informed that an assistant prosecuting attorney who was present in the building yesterday, October 7th, has tested positive for COVID-19. My understanding is that this individual only visited the second floor conference room. Insiders telling the defenders they are furious, believing there has been no contact tracing. They've gotten no alert from the county health department about possible exposure. It's unclear who the positive prosecutor came into contact with that day. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office tells the defenders tonight, quote, there have been three people in the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office the last week who have tested positive for COVID-19. They are in quarantine. None of the parties were in courtrooms in the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. No mention of the COVID positive prosecutor who was inside 36th District Court. Felony jury trials just resumed at Frank Murphy, but this week, mass circuit court confusion. One attorney writing the presiding judge about trials suddenly being put on hold. I understand jury trials have been suspended for the time being. At least that's the talk around Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. The presiding judge responding, yes, jury trials have been halted due to an increase in COVID cases and positive case in the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. The first felony case to be put on hold, Trayvon Pearson charged with attempted murder, accused of shooting a man back in April. With a $200,000 bond, Pearson doesn't have that money and has to wait inside the Wayne County Jail. And jury trials were about to resume at 36th District Court. But Judge Kenneth King says with COVID numbers on the rise, those trials will remain on hold. Did that decision have anything to do with what's happening at Frank Murphy? If those numbers are going up, then we have to take necessary precautions as well. And after that exposure, October 7th, 36th District got a thorough cleaning. Let's talk about Chief Justice Timothy Kenny over at Frank Murphy. He says there are no COVID cases inside that building or inside any of the courtrooms, but they track the numbers statewide and countywide. And last week they said the numbers in Wayne County were going up, so they had to put a pause on jury trials. When the numbers start going down, those trials will resume. Bottom line, guys, the Chief Just- Justice there says they have to keep jurors safe, defend lawyers, judges, staff, security, anyone who would come into that building. So right now, no jury trials at all. Back to you. Well, Sean, what about uh, defendants sitting in jail right now waiting for their trials? What about their rights to a speedy trial? So that's the tough part here. So a number uh, of judges, prosecutors, the sheriff, they get together weekly and they go case by case on who could be released while they're waiting for trial. And if someone's a violent offender and can't make bond, that's the tough part. They have to just sit and wait and wait in jail, wait for their trial and wait and hope they don't get COVID while they're in jail. It is a tricky, tricky situation. Really good point, too. All right. Sean.